Microsoft introduced the world to Microsoft Project back in the 80s. Throughout time, they have evolved it into a sophisticated cloud-based project and portfolio management system, and it's now a full-feature system called Microsoft Project Online. Recently, the Microsoft Project team introduced Project for the Web, which gives you a new and simpler way to plan projects. Which one of these is right for your needs? Western Principles can help you answer this question and get started with Microsoft Project. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notifications about new content. If you're watching on LinkedIn, please like, comment, or share. What's the business value you'll get with Microsoft Project Online or Project for the Web? Let's start with Project for the Web. Value from Project for the Web mostly comes from its abilities as a simple scheduling solution with some resource management capabilities. With scheduling, an organization can improve project throughput by about 5%. On top of that, with basic resource management, you should be able to improve performance by another 3 to 5%. Finally, with enterprise visibility to projects, the project manager, PMO, and project executive should all be able to make better decisions worth about a 3% overall improvement in the portfolio. Now let's look at the business case for Microsoft Project Online. It's important to remember that Microsoft Project Online is more than just a scheduling solution. Let's just look at a few elements of the business case for Microsoft Project Online. First off, it's a portfolio management solution, so you can do better at aligning your project and program selections with your business strategy in the range of 10 to 15%. In that same light, with long-term planning, you can do at least 1% better with your resource capacity plan. It will be more, but this alone can justify Microsoft Project Online. You get the benefits for scheduling and resource management, but the benefits are slightly higher given the enhanced capabilities of Microsoft Project Online. Analytics remains the same at about 3%. On top of that, you can look for another bump of 5-15% to improvement as with Microsoft Project Online you look at portfolios and programs as well as individual projects. There are a variety of other value areas in Microsoft Project Online that you can configure like project document repositories and controls, risk and issue management, and automated processes that will give you a variety of business values depending on how you need them configured. For the purpose, let's say that's at least a 3% improvement. These benefits look like they add up to big numbers, and they do. According to information from the Standish Group, only 36% of projects are successful and 19% fail, and that further 56% of projects are over budget, 60% are late, and 44% miss scope goals. With this in mind, you can quickly understand that there's a lot of room for improvement and numbers like these are just part of your business case. We can help you understand and quantify the business case for your PPM investments with benefits like these and others. On balance, depending on what your PPM system needs to do, each of these solutions can solve your needs. Let's talk about both of them. Most project managers have used Microsoft Project at one time or another and are all familiar with the powerful desktop for creating schedules. But PMs may not be so familiar with how this works with Microsoft Project Online and all the value it brings as a sophisticated and integrated project and portfolio management system. To work well, Microsoft Project Online needs to be configured to meet your needs. It's somewhat like a mini ERP. You need to configure the workflows, project detail pages, and options so that it simplifies life for the project teams and the project management office, and provides executives with visibility to their programs and projects as well as resources, issues, risks, and more. Microsoft Project Online is more than just a scheduling solution. If we follow the life cycle of a project, we can see how it adds value across the enterprise. Projects begin their lives as ideas. Someone, or a group of people, have an idea that they believe will drive value for the organization. They create a proposal. This happens inside Microsoft Project Online where ideas are collected. After an initial assessment, you might have automated processes kicking off reviews and scoring of the idea. For example, does the idea match with the strategy? What are the benefits? Are there risks that need to be considered? Does it meet engineering or architectural standards? This assessment step might also be used to enhance the proposal. Along the way, the idea is scored against a scorecard so that it can be compared with other proposals and a rough work plan is created with assigned roles for capacity planning. The gating business process and proposal assessment process is defined for you based on your needs. At this point, you can do some what-if analysis to compare the proposals against one another and even against existing projects. You can use this assessment to select projects based on relationships among the projects, like dependent projects in a program, weighted factors, your budget, and resource availability. Coming out of this step, you'll have a list of selected projects, a portfolio budget, and a resource capacity plan. Portfolio management in Microsoft Project Online has a lot of value, and even many existing enterprise users of Microsoft Project don't know that that functionality is in here. So if you have it, you might want to look further at it. Now we enter into detailed planning. 
At this stage, the project manager can start building out the plan. Many project managers know about using the familiar Microsoft Project Desktop for creating the schedule. When doing this, the project manager can easily query for available skilled resources and add them to their plan. This is another hidden gem in Microsoft Project Online that many PMs actually haven't tried. During planning and project execution, the project manager will use the automatically created project site as a central place for the team to collaborate. On the site, the project team benefits from centralized risk and issue logs. Here the team can add risks or issues and the project manager can assign those for review and to ensure they're addressed. Also, the team will use the automatically created project site as a central place for the team to store project documents like requirements, design and test plans, or surveys, architectural drawings, and engineering plans. These documents can have mandatory metadata to help further organize deliverables. Using automated workflows configured for you with Power Automate, documents can be reviewed and approved electronically. Finally, you'll want full visibility to programs, projects, resources, and other information that you have in Microsoft Project Online. You get to this using Power BI. Power BI has an out-of-the-box content pack for Microsoft Project Online, and this will provide many of the reports you'll need. But if you want more, they can be easily configured or customized for your needs. That was a lot, and there's more too. Things to remember about Microsoft Project Online are that it is sophisticated and powerful, highly configurable, full project and portfolio management, scheduling, resource management and capacity planning, business process automation, risks, issues, document controls, and so much more. And did I mention configurable? Project for the Web is Microsoft's latest work management solution. With Project for the Web, Microsoft has introduced a simpler user interface for creating a schedule. It has three main views. The grid, where you can easily enter tasks. The board, where you can organize tasks. And the timeline, which is a Gantt view. In Project for the Web, you can add and organize activities and assign people to each task. You can also status the tasks. It's designed to be easy to use. For people who aren't experienced project managers, that may be the case. However, for people who are experienced project managers, they may become frustrated quickly with the lack of features. You can get reports out of Project for the Web with Power BI dashboards. The content pack for these is very similar to the content pack for Microsoft Project Online, but more simple. You quickly notice that Project for the Web is a simple scheduling solution and not a sophisticated project and portfolio management system. Project for the Web is suited to planning and delivery of any type of simple projects with, for example, 5 to 35 tasks. For example, members of a customer service team who are planning and tracking an initiative to improve customer satisfaction might use Project for the Web to lay out and assign the tasks and then track the work completion. Where is Project for the Web going? Microsoft has embedded it in Dynamics 365, and over time you may see near-functional parity between Microsoft Project Online and Project for the Web in Dynamics 365. Microsoft has several other work management solutions that may fit your needs. Azure DevOps is used by Agile development teams to organize and plan work. Planner is a lightweight work planning engine for planning tasks, but not necessarily organizing them in a schedule, and then assigning tasks to people. You might also be using Jira for Agile development and you might be using other project management systems for scheduling and resource assignments. Western Principles can help you integrate all of these to Microsoft Project Online to provide an enterprise view of work, resources, and progress. We've shown you Microsoft Project Online and Project for the Web today, and also introduced you to several other planning solutions. We can help you pick the right solution for your needs, and we can also help you integrate your project management systems into a common view through Microsoft Project Online and Power BI dashboards. Western Principles is a Microsoft Gold Certified Project and Portfolio Management Partner. We know Microsoft Project and other work management solutions. Whether you need technical services, business process services, or training services, we can help you with program selection and visibility, project planning and resource management, and integrated visibility to your programs, projects, resources, risks, issues, change requests, and so much more. Let's get started together. Visit us on the web, call us at 1-800-578-4155, or email us at info at westernprinciples.com. We look forward to helping you.